Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm going to be talking about thinking instinctually when fishing for bass. Because I find that a lot of us, as humans, put human thought into bass. Trust me, bass do not have human thought. They don't have a little voice in their head and they, they don't talk to themselves about things. It's purely instinctual. Everything they do and the way they react to things is instinctual. I, I learned this pretty much the hard way in one of my first classes I ever took in fisheries wildlife when I was starting my career as a fisheries wildlife biologist. I went to a junior college, got the GE out of the way, but I took an introductory fisheries wildlife class and our instructor said if you want to go into this and you want to be a good biologist you got to learn to think instinctually and not put human thought into it and we had a project where we had to pick a species and observe it and write our observ observations in an instinctual way and not put human thought into it. If we had been fishing my whole life, observed nature, I know how to do this, wrote the paper, got it back, saw the most red ink I've ever seen on anything I've turned in, and everything was circled saying not instinct, human thought, not instinct. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this is what I want to do, maybe I don't know. But after going through school and getting into advanced classes and on the way through I started understanding what instinctual thought is compared to human thought. And it's the fact that they don't have human thought. Like I said, they don't have that little voice. Everything is pre-programmed. A bass goes through its whole life not in, wanting not to be eaten and to eat. And then once a year, procreate. That's about it. That, that's its simple life. Don't be eaten and eat. But we always put all these things in, like why it doesn't want to eat and why it doesn't hear, and oh, the the, the colors are wrong, and and oh, it may, it's it's loud, it should be quiet, and blah, blah. that's all human thought. The bass does not think that way. It wants to eat. If something's it's present, presented to it in the right way and it looks like something edible, it's going to eat it. Now Kevin Van Dam knows this. I, I'm pretty sure that he fishes on himself an instinctual level. He doesn't put all this human process. He's very instinctual about how he fishes. And that's why I catch so many bass, because they think instinctually. I mean, look at birds. Do, do the mother and the father get together and teach the baby birds how to build a nest when it's time for them to start, you know, having babies? No. Do spiders get around and, and have like a knitting class and teach all their spider young how to build a web? No. It's all instinctual. Do male bass get around right about the time that they're... they're male fry are getting ready to make a nest and say okay this is how you make no it's all instinctual it's pre-programmed they don't have that voice and it's just funny when i read a lot of articles and see all this stuff about people that and the things they say is it's human thought being put inside something that has absolutely no human thought if you start thinking instinctually and fishing instinctually you'll be on the level of bass and you'll probably find that they suddenly become a lot more predictable I'm, I'm almost positive that's the way Kevin Van Dam goes about his fishing and why he is the best there's ever been in the sport. So think instinctually and don't put human thought into it. Basically, don't overthink it because bass don't think. I hope this helps. Until next time.